My name is Joe. These are just opinions. I am Joe Pinionated. Today I'm doing a Joe Pinionated list music edition. Today's list I'm going with the top 10 songs of all time by Los Angeles' own glam rock superstars, Motley Crue. Motley Crue started in 1981 in Hollywood. It was formed by four members, Nikki Six, Vince Neil, Mick Mars, and Tommy Lee. Motley Crue was a powerhouse in the 80s. Motley Crue had a pretty good run of five excellent rock albums for the 80s. They started out in 1981 with Too Fast for Love, and they capped it off in 1989 with their biggest album to date, Dr. Feelgood. Motley Crue are notorious partiers through the 80s as well. Um, there's a Nikki Six had an overdose story. Slash and Steven Adler, I think from Guns N' Roses were there. There's all sorts of like near death experiences when it comes to Motley Crue. They broke up after the Decade of Decadence compilation. They never really made a whole lot of hits after the 80s, but they have come back and toured quite a few times successfully. They've had a few farewell tours, that sort of stuff. I did get to see them in once in Victoria back in around 2005 or 2006. All I can remember was uh, Tommy Lee saying, when I say Motley, you say crew. Motley? Motley? Tommy Lee was actually sick that night and he had a replacement drummer, which was a bit of a disappointment because Tommy Lee is sort of a famous drummer, for, especially for putting on a show. He was even injured, you know, rotating in one of those spinning cage drum kit things. I mean, some of my friends think that Tommy Lee is the greatest drummer ever, and I'm not one of those people, but He's a great, you know, I think that Tommy Lee is actually a pretty, pretty decent dude. My introduction to this band was with Dr. Feelgood. I was still pretty young at the time. My brother or my sister got the cassette for Christmas, and I think they might have given it to each other or something like that. The year following, maybe a couple years following, I listened to a lot of Dr. Feelgood, and that was, I'm pretty heavy on the Dr. Feelgood side of things as far as my Jupiter list goes. So opinionated list, top 10 Motley Crue songs of, of all time. Okay, so at number 10 for Motley Crue's greatest songs of all time, I have off of their album from 1985, this one over my shoulder here, Theater of Pain, and the song is Home Sweet Home. Motley Crue kind of started off as a glam rock band, you know, makeup, big hair. And just after this time, I think, is when they kind of went with the biker look and, you know, they changed their look up a little bit. For this record, I think of, first of all, the cover, the comedy tragedy, always like that. And then the we used to have the cassette of this one. And I remember first liking this. I must have been around 10 years old on a family vacation. It was just one of the tapes I happened to have in the car. And if you played this song, Home Sweet Home, and then you flip the tape over, it lined up almost perfectly with playing my second favorite song off of that album, my other favorite song off of that album. That song's coming up shortly. For number 10, I start off with slow track, Home Sweet Home. It's such an 80s rock power ballad. Number nine, Chopin list, top Motley Crue songs of all time, best Motley Crue songs of all time. I'm going with the song off their second album, Shout of the Devil from 1983. The song is Looks to Kill. A lot of their older stuff sounds a lot like this. I mean, this is sort of their sound. Nick Mars is an incredible guitar player. Nikki Six is a, as rock and roll as they come for a, a for a dirty bass player. Kind of like a punk feel. A lot of the old stuff has this sort of metal punk feel to it. They are one of the biggest things going. I mean, they're kind of the precursor for Guns N' Roses. Number nine all time I have from Shout of the Devil, the song Looks to Kill. At number eight, I have the cover song from the album Theater of Pain. by Michael Lutz and Cub Coda. Cover song of the, the classic Smoking in the Boys Room. This one was on the opposite side of the tape from Home Sweet Home. 
And so, you know, when I was about nine or something like that, we were on a road trip and I had a copy of this on cassette, probably from my brother or sister. I was really into Home Sweet Home at the time. If you flip the tape, like I said, this Smoking in the Boys Room was a song I already knew the words to. So I'd flip the tape and just kind of enjoy this one and then back to, at the time, my favorite Home Sweet Home. So yeah, that's when I started listening to it. It's off of this record here, Theater of Pain. The song is Smoking in the Boys Room. So for number seven all-time Jopini list songs I have from their 1987 album, Girls, 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 the opening track, Wild Side. Now, Girls, Girls, Girls came out just before they famously all went to rehab together. It's a great album, and it's probably the next one that I would purchase. I've only got the two so far here and some of their CDs. Uh, Wild Side being the opening track written by, I think, Nikki Six. When it comes to Motley Crue, it's it's pretty easy just to think it's Nikki Six because he wrote most of the songs or was credited on almost all the songs, similar to Robbie Robertson in the band. Wrote this one with Tommy Lee. The song is Wild Side. The opening track off of 1987, the Girls, Girls, Girls. Okay, number six, best songs of all time by Motley Crue, produced by Bob Rock. We have the song Kickstart My Heart. <laughs> Kickstart my heart make me think of pretty much any time you're trying to get a sports team riled up, hockey, baseball, anything like that. This song seemed to make the playlist. Mick Mars stands out on guitar with this big opening guitar. Uh, Mick Mars has some sort of issue with his bones or his muscles and he has a really tough time moving around. I want to say maybe a spine fuse or something like that. When I saw him, he was actually getting help on and off the stage. With the guitar in Mick Mars' hands, the guy is unbelievable. I remember when I used to watch the music videos of uh, this song and, and the other ones from Dr. Feelgood as a kid, I used to think he was like a scary looking dude. He used to kind of scare me like Lemmy. Lemmy used to scare the crap out of me. For some reason, when a Motorhead song came on, or even Mick Mars, honestly, some of these Motley Crue songs when I was a bit younger, they used to kind of scare me. When I get high, I get high on speed. That's how the song starts out. The inspiration for the song, the song was written by Nikki Six. The inspiration for the song was surviving an overdose. And that was the one I believe where Slash's girlfriend gave Nikki CPR. Another one written by Nikki Six, Kickstart My Heart. At number five, I have a song written by all the members of Motley Crue. And it's also off the Dr. Feel Good album. The song is Same Old Situation. For me, this one reminds me of spending my summers on Salt Spring Island as a kid. A bunch of families from a small island on the coast of BC. My uh, brother and sister were over there for a couple summers, uh, working and staying with relatives. I remember Dr. Feelgood being in the tape deck of, I think, my brother's truck, or maybe it was my uncle's truck. This one reminds me of Rick Brown and Salt Spring Island. Same old situation. And I checked the credits to see because at the time when they recorded Dr. Feelgood, Aerosmith was in the studios recording Pump, and I guess Steven Tyler sang background vocals on a few tracks. I didn't know that. That's pretty interesting. Anyways, number five for me is Same Old Situation. It's a bit of a sentimental favorite. So in 1983, Motley Crue released her second album um, for on my Jopinini list. Here we at number four. I'm going with the title track of her second album, Shout at the Devil. I mean, how cool can you get? You're singing a song called Shout of the Devil. You know, you're all dressed up in your glam rock outfit in 1983. Decadence and debauchery, as my man Tracy Morgan would say. You just sing a song, Shout of the Devil. They got a big pentagram on the front of their record, you know. 
These guys, these guys were bad boys. The song is Shout of the Devil, and there's no way that my mom would have let me have this record with a pentagram on the front. Number, <laughs> number four songs of all time from Wiley Crew. I've got Shout of the Devil. For some reason, this song really reminds me of my buddies Troy and t -Rex. They're big Motley Crue fans. Number three, Joe Penny list, top Motley Crue songs of all time. I have from Dr. Feelgood, 1989. The song was written by Nikki Six and Nick Mars. And the track is Don't Go Away Mad, Just Go Away. just came on one time when I was listening to the record, it's near the end of the record, or the CD, sorry, fell in love with it. It's probably, it's one of the most popular ones, I'm sure they do it at every show. I know a lot of people, this is their favorite Molly Crew song. But the track is, Girl Don't Go Away Mad, Just Go Away. Okay, number two all time, Jopinated List, comes from the 1989 record that blew the roof off and was basically our last album, Dr. Feel Good. And it's the title track, Dr. Feel Good. Dr. Feelgood was also written by Mick Mars and Mickey Six. Bob Rock famously produced this record after the four of them have gotten out of rehab. Uh, all four of them say it's their favorite album. There's actually probably, there's very few, I think every song is actually pretty good on this album. Bob Rock has a way of doing that with artists. This was the first song I remember learning from Motley Crue or knowing about. Maybe it was when it was still on the Much Music Countdown here in Canada. Just love Molly Crew. I thought the cover was even really cool. It was epic record covers of, for both of these. Dr. Feelgood is number two on my Jopini best all time greatest Molly Crew songs. So I do have some honorable mentions that are in the list. Actually, I'll, I'll read a couple with the hell. Some of my honorable mentions that I have on the list, a lot of them are from uh, Dr. Feelgood. Like I said, that was sort of the album that I spent the most time listening to. I was, a little, I was still pretty young when that one came out. At number 15, I have Time for Change, and this is another one uh, with number 14, Without You. And both of those songs, I remember having girlfriends when I was in elementary school and, you know, singing these songs into the mirror. Those lucky girls that I wrote notes to in elementary school. Number 13, I have Too Fast for Love, number 13 which I'm pretty sure is one of T-Rev's favorite songs, or maybe it's Troy's, I'm sorry to my buddies here. We're starting to sound like the FUBAR movie, T-Rev and Troy. Yeah, number 12, I have Rattlesnake Shake, and at number 11, I have their cover of Anarchy in the UK, which was off the Decade of Decadence albums, and a live version of it, I want to say. My buddy Tristan had it from the Tristones. Check the description for a link to his music, and thanks for letting me use the background songs. Okay, so number one all time, Japanese list for Motley Crue, I have from the 1985. I have from 1987's album, Girls, 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 the title track, Girls, Girls, Girls. So one that opens up with a motorcycle starting up, they kind of changed their looks and went all, you know, leather, possibly trying to get away from the whole glam rock thing and kind of transition more into what was next to come, which is kind of more the Guns N' Roses era. And I got a lot of respect for Molly Crew. I don't want you guys thinking I'm guessing you in any way, shape or form. I, you're a great band and, and a lot of people I know love you. 
One thing I think of with girls, girls, girls is uh, the strip clubs. They, they do mention one here in Canada, the Marble Arch in Vancouver. They also talk about the, the Tropicana, the Body Shop, Seventh Vale. Those are all on the Sunset Strip in, in Hollywood there. Uh, the Dollhouse in Fort Lauderdale, Crazy Horse in Paris, and Tattletales in Atlanta. This song was written and, and recorded in different parts, uh, written by Tommy Lee, Mick Mars, and Nikki Six. So yeah, that was easy. Another list in the bank. I just want to remind you to uh, like and subscribe on these videos. There's a little bell that you can push the button. The Motley Crue playlist that I've made is in the description. You can just click on it right after watching this video and you can listen to my top song and click fast forward and go from number one all the way down to number 15. Let me know too if you have uh, some songs that I missed, first of all. I know there's going to be some hardcores that are kind of chapped, but yeah, I like Motley Crue. I'm not a diehard fan, uh, but uh, you know, they're cool. They're, they're all rock stars. But that's it. That wraps it up for the Joe Pinionated list of Motley Crue's top songs. I'm sorry I'm low on facts, but high on opinions. Respect to Motley Crue.